intense standoff overseas this morning. President Biden has a new warning now saying there could be personal sanctions on Vladimir Putin if Russia invades Ukraine. And a shipment of American weapons to beef up the Ukrainian military is on its way. It arrived as Russian troops mass at the border. Our senior foreign correspondent Ian Panel is on the scene in Ukraine this morning. Good morning, Ian. Yeah, good morning, George. No sign of an easing to this crisis. Talks are underway in Paris, but no signs of any imminent diplomatic breakthrough. Meanwhile, more American military support arriving here in Ukraine as Russia bolsters its forces too. This morning, tension in Ukraine over fears of a Russian invasion as America ships more anti-tank missiles, rockets, grenade launchers and ammunition. With 8,500 American troops on high alert, President Biden now saying that they could be deployed to Europe sooner rather than later. I may be moving some of those troops in the nearer term just because it takes time. And, uh, and again, it's not, it's not provocative. Biden even suggesting sanctioning Putin himself, the Kremlin accusing America and NATO of hysteria. And this morning, warning Russia will respond to any actions by the West. The Biden administration insisting Russia could attack at any time. But despite more than 100,000 troops massed at the border, the Ukrainian foreign minister telling ABC News this morning that for now, that is insufficient for a full-scale invasion. What we currently see is uh, a scenario of destabilization of Ukraine. And that scenario is certainly imminent. It's already taking place. These new images, a show of force from the Russian military, conducting drills that include infantry units, as well as mobile tactical missile launchers. But speaking exclusively with ABC News, the US acting ambassador to Ukraine, Kristina Kavin, insisting the Ukrainian army is ready. The Ukrainians are ready and capable of defending their country, uh, and we will be there to help them. So we're now awaiting for this official written response to the Kremlin security demands to be delivered from the Biden administration to the Russians. But we already know that it's unlikely to give them everything that they've asked for. And I think the question this morning, Michael, is will it be enough to stave off a conflict? That is a big question indeed, Ian. Thank you. And we know you'll be covering it for us. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.